Welcome to Cat Debt Works version 2.5, tutorial 1, basic design and costing. Before we begin, we are going to turn on the drawing board grid lines. To do this, select Layout and click Display Grid from the drop down menu. This can also be done by right clicking on the drawing space and clicking on Display Grid from the drop down menu. Either procedure can be reversed to remove the grid line. To build our plant layout, we will start by looking at the preliminary treatment pane and selecting an influent wastewater object, a preliminary treatment process, and a primary clarifier. Under the suspended growth pane, we will select a complete mix activated sludge process and place that in our drawing space. And last, we will select an ultraviolet disinfection unit from the disinfection pane. We will connect all the processes together by clicking on an effluent arrow and dragging to an influent connection. When a connection is valid, a green arrow appears. When an invalid connection is attempted, a red circle with a strike through it appears. To delete a stream, we right click on the process from which the stream originates and choose the appropriate delete connection option from the pop-up menu. Click yes to verify that you wish to delete the connection. The next step in building a plant model is to specify the influent flow. To do this, right click on the influent and select edit influent parameters from the pop-up menu. Here we will change the units of average and maximum flow to meters cubed per day and change their values to 50,000 and 100,000 respectively. Be sure to click accept to save the changes. At this point, the need to change the solids retention time may come up. To do this, we right click on the Complete Mix Activated Sludge process and select Edit Complete Mix Activated Sludge Parameters from the pop-up menu. Here we change the design SRT to 6 from 4. Again, remember to click Accept to save your changes. Sometimes we want to specify a lower suspended solids concentration in the secondary clarifier affluent. This is accomplished by right-clicking on the process and selecting Edit Secondary Clarifier Parameters from the pop-up menu. We will change the effluent suspended solids from 20 to 15 mg per liter. Click Accept to add changes to the model. Now that our plant layout is done and the necessary parameters have been entered, we want CapDetWorks to estimate the cost of our plant. To do this, click Cost Analysis and then Estimate Cost of Current Layout from the drop-down menu. Alternatively, there is a button on the taskbar. Once this has been done, the cost bar is updated with the costs associated with the plant we have just built. To get more information on what each process contributes to the total cost, select Cost Analysis from the taskbar and click Details of Cost Estimate. Alternatively, there is a button on the taskbar. In the details window, there are three sections. The layout section where all the processes are listed. The water quality section where the flow rates, BOD, and other concentrations along with their respective units are given for the influent and effluent flows. And finally, there is a design information section which gives the specifications of the plant. For the next section, we will return the SRT back to 4 days. We do this by right-clicking on the activated sludge object and selecting Edit Parameters from the pop-up menu. Here, we change the design SRT to 4. Note that every time we alter anything in the layout, either the Estimate Cost of Current Layout or Details of Cost Estimate buttons need to be clicked to update the current cost. Once back in the Details window, we note the SRT change to 4 under the Design Information section. Up until this point, only the wastewater stream has been talked about. We will now add a sludge stream to our model. From the biosolids treatment pane, 
an anaerobic digester will be placed into our drawing space. Under the biosolids thickening and dewatering pane, we will select a sludge flotation thickening tank and a belt filter press. Under the biosolids disposal pane, we select the hauling and landfilling object and place that in our layout. We quickly make all the necessary connections to and from the new objects. We also make sure to connect the return liquors from the belt filter press, the anaerobic digester, and the sludge flotation and thickening tank back to the primary clarifier. To determine the cost of this new layout, simply click the Calculate Cost of Current Layout button and note the updated cost bar. The blower system is the process which encompasses the total air requirements for the whole plant. To look more closely at this system's properties, we click the Details of Cost Estimate button, which brings up the Details window. In the Layout section of this window, find and select Blower System from the list. Under the Design Information section, we get values for the minimum air flow capacity, the total number of blowers, and the estimated cost of an installed blower. Additionally, each value's associated unit is displayed to the right of the number. The last thing we need to do is save our layout. We do this by clicking File and selecting Save As from the drop-down menu. We will call this layout Tutorial 1. Then click Save to save our changes. This completes Tutorial 1 of CapDetWorks version 2.5. Thank you for watching this CapDetWorks tutorial. If you are interested in our other software products, such as GPSX for wastewater modeling and simulation, ToxChem for predicting toxic fate and emissions, or WattPro for drinking water treatment modeling, you can visit our website at www.hydromantis.com.